Hello, here is Ahmed and come back with another interesting video. In this video, I want to show it to you how you can copy the relationship from one project to another project with the help of the baseline maintain baseline update over here. How does it work? As you see, I have two projects. One of them is the baseline, one of them is the current. I open both of them. So I try to show it to you over here. As you see, I have the major milestone, which include the relationship. But over here, I have the major milestone without any relationship. A few you can see over here. It is for the mechanical completion. And we can remove it. Now we want to copy all the relationship from this section. As you see, we have the predecessor and successor for each of them. We want to, we want to add the relationship from this section and add it to the top area. As you see on the screen, the below one is the baseline. You can see that it's started from January, ended onto April. The top one is current up one. The last update started from January. Estimated for finish date is about 25th of July. So how does it work? First, come back to the project section over here. Now I want to update the updated program. Why? Because on the updated program, I have the milestone, but without any relationship. But on the baseline schedule, I have the relationship. I want to add this relationship exactly the same as baseline over here. I should go to the project list, then open the baseline. The project include the correct data, you should open it. Then go to the project, maintain baseline, add, convert to another, and then I select the updated one to be baseline of my baseline. Then I go here, assign it. Now I should go to the project, maintain baseline, select this, press update, over here you have several choices if you want to study about all the things i have two more videos you can find the link on the right top now i want to make sure that only relationship will be updated because we have too many options as you see over here in addition with this i don't want to this update going to be reflected to all of my project. I want to only update some part of the project. So I go to the modify, the WBS is under the major milestone. This is the area I want to update it, only major milestones. So I add the filter for this one, I double check it, that's it apply okay now i press the update and waiting for the result in a few moment in the few moments both of the project relationship for the major milestone will be the same as each other
here it is some error occurred over here I close it and then I want to go to the maintain baseline restore it because I want to open both of the projects simultaneously and now I select both of them open it and go to the activity detail for better understanding let me to use the same filter it should be any of this WBS is under for the first one WBS is under for the second oh should repeat it that's it now I try to compare it let me add another filter over here for activity name for instance it is equal to this then I added all of them here is the we have two growing relationship in the predecessor FS relationship if I move down you will see the two relationship FS generated over here on the successor I have connection between this one to mechanical completion over here I have the connection to the mechanical completion as you see the project ID is SMP DSH-SMP the project ID for this one is DSH that updated it means that I didn't assign the relationship as an external it is internal one so another instances want to make another instances for instance this one copy here for current we don't have any successor over here we don't have any successor on the predecessor we have MR for HVAC items on the predecessor we have MR for HVAC items so both of them exactly same as each other that's all for today thank you for watching global project control
I hope this lesson was helpful to you. Please keep up to date on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook for more lessons. You can also visit our website www.globalprojectcontrol.com to find all of our lessons and courses at once. Thank you for subscribing to the GPC YouTube channel.